everybody, this is going to be my review of the Microsoft Surface Pro. I apologize, I'm going to be using it one-handed again, of course, because I only have two hands, one of them for my camera, still don't have a tripod. So, here is the Surface Pro 64 gig. I got it on Saturday, the day it came out. Last one in the area, I think Texas, every store in Texas was out. I had to go to Staples. Long very not fun thing. So I have this 128 gig on pre-order at Best Buy. It will be coming out very soon, or this weekend, hopefully, and I'll return this one and get that one. So, here's my review of the Surface Pro. I do not have the cord with me, and I do not have the cord with me. That's the only thing I don't have with me. And if you want to see that, just mention it in the comments, and I will do that. So, without further ado, let us start with this review. Sorry, I had to do that. So, We'll look around the side and look at the ports. Here is the beautiful stylus. It's plastic. Uh, feels a little cheap, but not really cheap at all. I mean, you know, what were you expecting? Here on the side, we have the charging port, the uh, mini display port, which is a difference between the one that's on the RT, which is a mini or micro HDMI. On the outside, you also notice something different. Sorry, you remember that away. This is the micro SD HCXC or something, a high capacity. Uh, port. Uh, this one is different also because on the on the RT, on the inside, it was right here to plug it in, but they put it on the outside. So this side is different. It has the plug, the mini display port, and this, and I don't have the RT with me right now, but uh, it's different. And on this side, they have the USB 3.0, the volume rocker, and the headphone jack. Changed some things around, like the, there was nothing on the side except for the there's nothing except the value marker on the headphones, but they put the USB 3.0 over here to make room for some other stuff. And on the back, you have your camera. Don't know the specs on that. I think it's like 1.3 megapixel, which is not the greatest, but I'm not going to be recording video with the tablet, especially one that's kind of heavy. <laughs> so, all right, kickstand, just like the RT, you've seen that. It's the big signature feature. And we will flip it over. There you go. Uh, I hope I turn this off because I want to show you how short it takes to boot up. Okay, that's that's not the boot up, so we'll turn it off real fast. So you guys can see how fast this thing turns on. Uh, I was really surprised how fast it turns on. So, okay, so it's off now. I'm going to click the button at the top and I clicked it, and let's see. Give it a second so you can see my awesome face. There you go, goes to the surface, and boots into Windows logon screen. So extremely fast. I am really impressed with the boot up time. It seems like it could be a Chromebook speeds. If you don't know what Chromebook is, don't worry about it. You're not alone. So I have the Type keyboard because I just think it is better for pro productivity. My sister has the Touch keyboard and I have tried both. I prefer this one and it feels like the coolest keyboard I've ever used when I'm typing. It's just super cool. So I'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, if you've used the... Uh, Surface RT, then you know exactly what the UI looks like, the user interface. Looks the same. I mean, there's nothing different about the live tiles or anything. It's exactly the same. If I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me, but like I said, nothing the same. Over here we have the desktop, which is the same, except that you get to install a bunch of desktop programs that are x86, is what they call them. Uh, like, for example, Zune Software. Couldn't install that on the other one, and some people would say, why would you want to? But <laughs> I have installed it on here, and I, I plugged in my Zune. I don't have it with me, but you can plug in the Zune and the 3.0 port and sync music over to the Zune via USB cable, which is really nice. So you can see I have the Zune interface up here. Double-click on a song, and place the speakers. So that is super cool. Let's click out of that thing. I guess pause it. Like that. And you can also, it's just, I love the uh, desktop interface, and people complain sometimes that it's too small or whatever. Nope, not for me. Alright, let's delete that. So, anyways, here's the pen. You can do everything like you can with the finger or your mouse, which is at the bottom, which is moving around if you see it right there. And uh, I think the pen's awesome. I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll just show you the pointing. So, I have Dropbox on here, C Cleaner, Google Chrome. Google Chrome is extremely small. Let me see if I can show you. If you can see this, I'll look at zoom in. You can see how small it actually is. Uh, I probably you won't be able to see this, but it is extremely small. Here's my finger. 
compare that to the size of the button, and it is like super tiny. It's an eyesore kind of. It hurts my eyes, but uh, I like Google Chrome, so I put up with it. But you know, also on here for gaming experience, I will show you a little rundown. Here is the Wizard 101. You might have heard of that game. It's an online MMO, whatever they call it today. Um, we'll log in, password, and there we go. It takes really fast to boot up into the game, which uh, on some computers, most computers, this game boots up fast, but I'll show you. We'll click play. There we go. Love the quality of this screen, by the way, on the surface. It is amazing quality. And some of the programs are a little blurry because they weren't built for the aspect ratio on this thing, but other than that, love the device. So we have the there we go, and if you see, it goes to the edge of the screen, the game, if it's perfectly in the screen. I had to go to options, sorry, double click, uh, it's not used to that, and I had to go to resolution and change it to 1360 by 768. If you were a wizard user and you were going to do this, you would change it to that settings to make it work better. So let's select my play button, and here is wizard 101. Great quality, I was really impressed. And we move around. Really good, fluid gameplay. I love the speeds of this game. It works great. I'm controlling it with the directional pad. Up, down, left, right, keys. And, um, uh, two, these two are really small, and you can get over that. It's just, you can put another mouse in if you wanted to control it. And, of course, touch. You can go over here, tap your book, open it up, double tap to go out. You can't move around, except you can go to the screen like that, but you can't move around with, uh, you know, clicking. So, but you can do all the things you could with a mouse with touch. So you click on stuff, move around. It's pretty nice, uh, and the game runs great. The only problem is, after about 15-20 minutes of playing it, your fan kicks on and it starts heating up on the back. But it's not that loud, and you can live with it. I mean, if it's a fun game, it's worth it. I don't care. So let's get off of this and go to the main computer. And of course, it's going to open up a Google Chrome saying, thank you for playing. Okay. So, uh, Windows Journal, which is not included in the RT, is included in this. Here we go. Here's my pen. And I'm writing with my left hand, so I'm just going to do very bad handwriting. There you go. There's a horrible looking smiley face. I'll switch over to the right hand and I'll write uh, cool. There we go. And I go over here to the select button at the top and select the word cool. Now I go over here at the top and click actions and select handwriting to text and it says, oh, you got it right. There we go. And it, yeah, finish, finish. And it did it to cool right there. Got the text correct. So that's cool. Handwriting is really great on here. Uh, let me show you the keyboard down here. The touch keyboard, if we go over here and click graffiti, the graffiti is really fluid with this pen, you just write, um, cool beans, types up that, and converts it to text, and you can just keep writing and writing and writing, and this is just beautifully smooth, and it gets very accurate, and I think that's one of the coolest features. Also in apps like Word 2013, and other programs by Microsoft, it will say stuff like inking tools. It'll recognize you have the pen and give you special features that work with the uh, pen. Also, since we're talking about the pen, uh, if you can see this, I'll put it in the light right here at the top. The bottom part of this pen, anyways, right here, is a click. And if you look on the screen, you can see, if you get close enough, you see the little white thing? That's the mouse. If you click on the button, it turns that, and that's right click. So if you want to right click, you just tap there, or if you hold it down, it loads it up and does the right click. And I think the cool thing about this pen is um, when you're moving around, so you, uh, when you're moving around, the pen doesn't have to be touching the screen for you to see the mouse. Let's see, see, right now it's not even on the screen. I don't know if you can see that, but see, it's not even touching the screen yet, and you can see that the mouse is being recognized on it, which is really cool. So it's got a distance. I don't know if there's batteries in this thing. I don't think so or something. But it's really cool how they did the technology in this pen. It's got 10 points of multi-touch. And it's got an active digitizer in here. So that means that it, 
uses the pen instead of touch. Also, it does both. And so when you're writing, if you put your wrist on the screen and write like this, your wrist is your hand, palm, whatever is not recognized and only recognizes the pen. So you will not be getting smudges on the screen. Super cool. Now let's go to something, uh, some more features of this tablet. A little gripe I have. Here we go. We have the Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Love this game. Love the extra bonus ones they include in this. Only thing I have a little problem with is that after 15 minutes of playing this game, which is a casual game, it starts to fans on, and this thing starts getting really hot. Not too overbearing hot, hot, but it gets up there, and the fans are going on, and I'm like, what? It's solitaire. You, you shouldn't be stressing over that. Like, right now, it's, no, it's not heating up right now, but you're like, what in the world? Why are you doing this? And it starts heating up for no reason. It's just solitaire people, and I'm not a, like, super fast gamer, and it's just confusing. So we'll go into a game, and I like this. It doesn't do this on the RT, the little cards, so. Another thing is, these games are a little blurry. I did, you can't tell on here, but the, it's a little less colored. I mean, less, excuse me. This game is a little blurry on here. I guess it's because the screen's more thick, and, like, let me see if you can see that. You cannot, because it's, that icon is a little blurrier than it is on the RT, just because I think this is a higher aspect ratio. And so, uh, but really fluid, okay, this is not a drag game one, but. There you go. And, um, we'll show you really fast. And I think the cool thing is also, when you want to, I'm gonna go to the regular solitaire. When you use this mouse, I, I mean the mouse, I love using the pen for solitaire. So I just go like this, look. I'm not even touching the screen, and it's holding the card, so I can float, like, about a little less than an inch away from the screen, and this thing just, there you go, and just go over here, We just, without touching the screen, so that's really cool, just go over here, grab the 8, if I can, there we go, come on, grab the 8, there we go, I had to touch the screen on that one, but it is just fun to do, and I think that's really interesting, that you don't have to be touching the screen, just moving around, so I'm just moving around, selecting cards and stuff, I'm probably blabbing on and on about this, but I really think only thing I don't like is that it heats up easily. Alrighty, so I've pretty much gone through everything that I can go through uh, about this. I love the Surface Pro. I'm going to get the R600 and whatever gigs, but I think this is a great device and I can see a future with it. Uh, let me finish it up with showing you about the keyboard and a few more little things and we're all done. It recognizes when I close the keyboard that the screen needs to go off, and when I open it, it doesn't recognize that it needs to go back on, which is rather annoying. So, um, you go up here, and we type in my password, my handsome face right there. Here we go, so this is the screen, and oh, also I put the Start 8 program down here, so it looks like the regular thing, and it looks really cool. I like doing that myself. So anyways, uh, the keyboard is awesome, really good recognition and everything, and the magnetic, it just, I suggest getting the type cover. It's great for productivity. I suggest it heavily over this one. But both of them work great. This is more for if you're getting the RT and you're not going to be doing heavy work. This is really cool and it's not as, in my opinion, I just like this better. My idea, not maybe not yours. So, um, we're almost done here. If I missed anything at all, please send me a comment. And if I get enough questions, I will respond with a video answering all of your questions. So, uh, let me finish this video up with comparing the size to the RT, which is my sister's, and she was kind enough to let me use it for this review. Get this off. All right, move this keyboard over. Remember, I'm still doing this one-handed, apologize. Here we go. Go ahead and put that down on the tables, please. There we go, this is the RT, and this is the big brother, the Pro. So let's lift those up. There we go. The thickness, let's see, there we go. The bottom is the RT, and the top is the Pro. We'll look on the sides real fast. In the light, you can see on the Pro, they have the micro SD slot at the top, and the power button there, and the mini display port. But on the bottom is the RT, and they crammed more onto this. So, that is an interesting move by Microsoft. On the top, the RT has two s microphones, and the Pro only has one, if you can see that. So turn this around 
And on this side, pretty much the same, except there's a 3.0 port on the Pro, and my arm is killing me. There is two, the headphone jacks are there, and then you have the speaker. So the Pro does not have a speaker on the side, on either side. So that's a little strange. I'm guessing the speakers are somewhere else. And so the thickness isn't a huge deal to me. I don't care. Uh, I just think the Pro is really light and cool to use, and so I like that. But, all right, here we go. Let's open this up and see if the speakers are in the back. I've heard someone say they were in the back, so we'll take a little look real fast there and see. Uh, I do not see them. So I don't know where the speakers are, but that is really cool that I can't see them. So, uh, real fast, I'm also going to put this in my lap. Uh, the Verge. Cool looking review. Kind of, uh, mean, I think. That he did not say that you could put, that he said that you couldn't put this in your lap and work. And I have done it in the car, and it is really good so well let me just get this up here and then i love logging in over and over on the camera don't i all right we'll go here microsoft word and it is in my lap at the moment you can see this is in my lap and it is at an angle even if i can get the camera over here it is that my feet are my feet are leaning against the ground there we go sorry move my chair so here we go it is at an angle I am like this, leaning forward. Gravity is pulling the tablet down. So, let's move this over here and come on over and we will write, type something up with this. I have two hands now for free. Uh, let's see. Here, I'm typing up um, Bobby... Blah, blah, oops. Whatever. So, <laughs> yeah. This is the awesome... Surface Pro. Works great in the lap. Uh, touch screen is easy. I can move around. I can tap things like this. Unless I'm going to bang on the screen and push it down. It's not falling down. Maybe some people like to bang on the screen with their finger pushing hard. And that's why it falls over. But I don't do that. And that's why you're not going to see this thing fall off in this review. So like I said, if I missed anything, I apologize. Like, subscribe, and every other great thing you can do to my videos, do it. Thank you. Have a great day. You're gonna edit that, hopefully, right? Yeah.